And so this is a breathable full coverage foundation as well. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Missy. Today I'm gonna to be doing a makeup tutorial featuring clean makeup products. If you've been with me for a while, welcome back. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. I've got lots of good stuff right here. And let's just jump right into this full face clean makeup tutorial. Why use clean makeup products? Is there a difference between clean makeup products and your regular makeup products? Um, there is, it's all about the ingredients and a lot of people out there are really sensitive to a lot of chemicals these days. So if at all possible, I try to use clean makeup products because a lot of the times when I'm doing these makeup tutorials behind the scenes, I'm just like, <sighs> and I've got snot running out of my nose and everything because I am sensitive to a lot of these products. Let's start off by priming and for priming, I'm going in with this Bite Beauty Change Maker Primer and this one is the hydrating one. So it's for normal to dry skin. Um, there is another one for normal to oily skin. So it retails for $28. For foundation, I'm going in with this Bare Mineral Bare Pro Foundation, and this is in the shade Coco 30. It comes in 35 shades and retails for $35. This foundation has a lot of claims. It's supposed to be sweat resistant, water resistant, transfer resistant, humidity resistant, crease resistant, hypoallergenic, blurs fine lines and imperfections, wears for 24 hours. The list goes on and on. Let me do a swatch for you guys. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And so that's how it looks on my complexion. And so this is a breathable full coverage foundation as well. So let's blend this out. What do you guys think? I'm still blending, but what do you guys think so far? Did I mention that this has SPF 20 protection as well? Well, there you go. I don't think I'm gonna be doing an eyeshadow look uh, today, but I do have this beautiful palette here that's clean from Aether Beauty. That's what it looks like inside. It's primarily a shimmer palette. And this is the Moonlight palette. Let me do a couple swatches for you guys so you guys can see how it looks on my complexion. I love the shade right here for my inner corners. Let's try out this shade right here. I love bronzy shades, so let's try out this one right here. And I'll try out this green shade right here as well. So I do love this matte green shade, and so I'm gonna put a little bit all over my lid. What do you guys think? That's one dip. This shade is called Ritual, and so I'm gonna go in next with a bit of the shade right here. It's called Intention, just to define my outer C. So there are 12 shades, and it retails for $48. I'm gonna use a bit of the shade right here to highlight my inner corners. And so this shade is called Insight. For mascara, I'm going in with this Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara. So this is a volumizing, smudge resistant, lifting, lengthening, intense color payoff mascara. It retails for $28. So let us see. So that's what it looks like. And this reminds me of another mascara. I'm not gonna say you guys can go ahead and leave some comments below if you think you know the one that I'm talking about. So that's how that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead, do the other eye and add my lashes off camera. This is where we're at guys, let's move on to concealer. And for concealer today, I'm going in with this Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. So I picked up shade 5.5. It only comes in seven shades and it retails for $22. And that is super bright. Let's see how this blends. I usually go over my concealer with my foundation brush. And so that's where we are. And girl, 
my peeps look at me this look this look right now how these products are working together everything I'm gonna do a little setting powder and I'm actually not gonna put it under my eyes I have stopped using setting powder under my eyes just because I forgot to do it one day and then my eyes was just looking so good like hours and hours later I'm like why do I need this I think it is a good idea to set underneath the concealer anyway that way it doesn't travel let's add some bronzer this one is from Liss Beauty and this is in the shade worthy Liss Beauty is one of the first clean black owned makeup brands at Sephora and so that's how that looks Let's add a little blush, and so this one is from Honest Beauty in the shade Plumberry. All these products that I'm using today, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the information in my description section, okay? So you guys go ahead and check that out. That is so pretty, that is so pretty. I found some good products for you guys, so go ahead and leave a comment below of your favorite products from this makeup tutorial. Let's add some highlight. This one is from Wanda Beauty. And this is a highlight and blush duo. The blusher is in the shade Berry Whisper. And then the highlighter is in the shade Nude Glow. That's what that looks like. I am obsessed with this highlighter. It just melts into your skin. It just gives you that perfect lit from within glow. Let's move on to lips and for my lip combo today, I'm going in with this Bite Beauty Power Matte Lip Crayon and this is in the shade Cognac. And so this is a lip gel from Wildcat in the shade Forbidden Fruit. And so this one is infused with CBD, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin A and E. And so this is the lip gel. And it smells just like guava if you're familiar with that scent. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, fix my hair, and I'll be right back to do the setting spray and show you guys the final look. For setting spray today, I'm going in with this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veal Mist. This one retails for $29. I'm going to go ahead and give my face a good spray. Who doesn't want glass skin? This is it, guys. The look is done. What do you guys think? I know I found some good ones for you guys today. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by to watch me do another video. I hope I showed you guys some products today that you might want to check out. As always, don't forget to like, share with all of your family and friends. Go follow me on all of my different social media platforms. Let me know what you'd like to see from me next, and I will see you guys on my next one.